welcome back to Europe Nation Reactions. I am Tyrone, and today on the channel, we got another pitch meeting reaction, and this time it's Secret Invasion. If you watched my Honest Trailers uh, Secret Invasion uh, reaction, I did not like this show. I just didn't. A lot of it was really, really bad, and Mar like I said at the end of it, I don't know how Marvel's going to come back. And the only way I can think Marvel can come back from stuff like this is getting rid of the shows. <laughs> And focusing on the movies, okay? You, you, you bit off a little bit more than you can chew, okay? But uh, I know J uh, Ryan George is going to rip this thing apart. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, you got some new Marvel stuff for me? Well, actually, sir, I thought maybe we could take a little break. You know, we've been churning out so much content. I think everybody could Watch. use a little breather. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. Right? All right, that should about do it. Yeah, that's good. So I'm thinking we do a secret invasion show. Oh, the shape-shifting Skrull storyline from the comics? That's the one. So Nick Fury's gonna come back to Earth, and let me tell you, he's old and miserable. Old as dirt. As all protagonists should be. Yeah, and so he's gonna meet up with Maria Hill, remember her? Oh yeah, we only got snippets of their partnership in the movies. It'll be cool to dive into that a bit more. Yeah, Boom! For sure, so she dies. Oh my god. Pretty much right away. Dang it. See, it turns out that some Skrulls are evil now, and there's a little faction of rebels that want to start World War III. What are they rebelling against? Nick Fury. What do you mean? See, he and Captain Marvel had <laughs> promised to find them a new planet, but after mm -hmm. looking around for like two years, they were like, ah, eh, no, there's, there's nothing out there. There's not no planets at all. Why don't they work something out like the Asgardians to have their own little place on Earth? Unclear. So now this yep. scroll named mm. Gravik is in charge, and he hates Nick Fury and Talos. Uh-oh. Yeah, and Talos' daughter Gaia is going to be a part of this group, but then she's going to realize, hey, maybe the scrolls that want to kill a bunch of people aren't super nice. Ah, so she's going to switch sides? She is. Um, Amazing. So Gravik basically wants humans to go to war and blow the planet up and live on it. Well, so what we're gonna get here well, is a super yeah, sophisticated exactly. spy thriller as Fury tries to stop these scrolls. Well, yeah, I imagine that's gonna be thrilling. You could really play with the shape shifting scroll thing. You know, they could be anyone at any time. Really create some tension in the scenes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that would have been good. Dang it! Wow. But you have some scrolls impersonating mm. people, right? Yeah, but we just let the audience know who's a scroll pretty much right away. Like Rhodey is a scroll. We just tell them that through a mirror. Well, that might be thrilling in its own way. Maybe, yeah, maybe, I hope so. <laughs> anyway, so what else happens in this thing? Well, we're gonna reveal that Nick Fury's Ugh. actually married to a Skrull. Oh. Yeah, so if you ever wanted to see Sam Jackson deeply make out with a green alien, this is the show <laughs> for you, I guess. That yes! on my bucket list. I'd also oh, like to see wow. make out with a bucket. Oh, yeah? Just Sam Jackson <laughs> making out with anything, really. It's just fun to watch. Okay. Samuel L. Jackson tonguing stuff is tight. All right, anyway, so Gravik gives himself extremist powers using this radioactive machine he has. Okay. Yep. And he wants to give himself a bunch of superpowers and become a super scroll. So he wants World War III and also superpowers and also like a house. That's right, so he can walk around all green-like. And for that war thing, he tries to kill the U.S. president and blame it on the Russians. Very sneaky. Yeah, and during the attack, frickin' Talos dies trying to save the president. Oh, extremely sad. I mean, I think. I kind of remember him from Captain Marvel. Yeah, he was yeah. in that. And, you know, maybe a post credit scene. Had to, there, I, there's no way I'm checking. Totally fair. Anyway. So then Rhodey the Skrull advises the U.S. president the to Skrull. drop a big old bomb on the Skrull hideout in Russia, which would start World War III. Uh-oh. And so Gravik tells Fury, hey, I'll call off the strike if you bring me all the superhero DNA you scraped off the endgame battlefield, you big DNA-collecting weirdo. So hey, why doesn't Nick Fury <laughs> call the Avengers? That's kind of his move, isn't it? Yeah, we're mm. actually going to address that. Fury's going to be like, no, this is way too personal. I got to do this And it's so myself. different also, in the comics. And also, we can't rely on superheroes all the time. He's going to risk the end of the world because he feels like this is a personal situation? That's right, it's personal. No superpowers. So what does he do? He sends Gaia to go get superpowers and fight the fight for <laughs> yeah, him. So exactly. Gaia shapeshifts into Nick so Fury and goes to oh. the super radioactive hideout and pretends to be dying from radiation and whatnot. Okay. And so then when Gravik gives himself the powers, it also gives them to Gaia. What if he had just shot Fury or not kept him inside the machine with him? Well, it worked, so get all the way off my back about the plan, and then it's time for a final showdown between these two. It's time for Nick Fury Fury's personal fight. That's right, and so Gaia and Gravik start <laughs> punching each other with a bunch of recognizable superpowers. Like what? Well, like Gaia flexes Drax's muscly arm with the tattoos. Mm -hmm. Is his tattoos a part of his DNA? Hey, shut up, and she has ghost <laughs> powers, you know, ghosts. Ghost couldn't really control those powers and also wasn't at the endgame battle. Hey, shut up, and Mantis's mm -hmm. mind control powers to put Gravik to sleep. How does she know how to use those powers? Hey, shut up, and Ebony Maw's hey, uh, magic just, hey, shut up. power rings hey, up someone's DNA. Hey, shut up, hey, shut up. Hey, Haven't we established up. that magic is something you learn? 
Hey, shut up. Well, okay, <laughs> punch, 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 power beam, punch, 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 backflip, probably. Very exciting. <laughs> but hey, if they both have those extremist healing powers, it's going to be hard for man. one of them to win. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yes, the guy is going to punch a big hole in yep. his chest. And so that does it. He's dead now. Why does that do it if he has <sighs> healing powers? Because the fight's over now. That worked. Oh, okay. Oh, and while that's happening, there's going to be a tense showdown between Fury and Rhodey and the president. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and Fury's going to be trying to convince the president president that this freaking guy's a scroll. Wow, well, if mm -hmm. only there was a way for them to identify the scrolls. Well, throughout the whole show, they're going to be shooting scrolls because they bleed purple, so that, you know, shows it. Why not do that mm -hmm. now? Because this way we can have a couple of minutes of manufactured tension. Smart. And so after those mm -hmm. couple of minutes are over, Fury's going to shoot Rhodey and reveal he's a scroll. Oh, wow, wow, wow. 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 Then the president's gonna go on TV and declare all off-world species as enemy combatants. Oh, he is. And people are gonna go nuts. There's gonna be vigilantes running around shooting political leaders and stuff, trying to find the Skrulls. It's gonna be absolute chaos and paranoia. You know, that actually sounds like a more interesting secret invasion show. Yeah, well, Nick Fury has to leave Earth now, so we're not doing that. <laughs> he's leaving, but he arguably leaving. showed up and made the situation a whole lot worse. Yeah, so now he's gotta go. He's gotta get out of there. All right. So what do you think? Uh, I think it sounds like a pretty good <laughs> show. And hey, I'm picturing some cool, no. like, AI gen generated intro credits, that'll really be cool. Oh. Oh, you're starting to use AI for stuff, huh? Yeah, but you don't have anything to worry about. We're uh -huh. just gonna start using it for stuff like art and, you know, ideas and acting and voice acting, background acting, script writing. Oh, please don't. No, I mean, That's AI the problem. is really good. What's the alternative? Pay fair wages to human people for all the jobs you just mentioned? Exactly. You sound insane. We don't do that now. I know. Anyway, let's spend is $200 million dollars on this and reshoot a bunch of it and chop it up in the editing room and dump it on a streaming service. We can do no wrong and this system has no flaws. Super flaws. Hi everybody, Ron George here. It's the lowest one, and it deserves to be the lowest. I mean, if if you, <laughs> oh my gosh, Marvel, Disney, if you have not learned by now on certain things that you are doing completely wrong with your products, Secret Inver Secret Invasion is the is the recipe for your failure. Okay. I mean, I didn't like She-Hulk. I, I, I kind of liked uh, WandaVision. I kind of liked um, a lot of the stuff from um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, Loki was the best one that you had, <laughs> okay? Uh, and this was super duper trash, okay? Explained everything about that. It's like, you know, the whole thing about the, uh, the both of them having powers. And, and the thing with Rhodey, and I'm just so stupid. And now he's he's leaving, and he just made a situation worse. All bad stuff <laughs> that you're putting in Asia. <laughs> it's, it's it's crazy. It's like y'all rushed through all. They spent two hundred million dollars on some bullshit like that. That's so sad. And and then you made Samuel Jackson look like a punk throughout the whole single. I don't know what to say, man. It was such a failure. I mean, he, he nailed it on a lot of stuff and made it funny, but the situation itself over there going on at Disney is not funny because that, that last thing that he said about the AI, they are really trying to do this, people. That's why the whole SAG and, uh, uh, after and the writer strike is going on, <laughs> okay? Because they need rightful pay, okay? They need rifle pay. Maybe that's why they make their, their writing BS uh, scripts because they're like, you know what? We ain't getting paid for this stuff, you know, really good anyway. We don't know if we're going to make any extra money off of this. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to throw some stuff on the wall and hope it stick. Or maybe that's what the producers are telling them to do. <laughs> okay? It's it more, more than likely it's the producers telling them to do this and taking out certain things that make sense in a, in a, in a story uh, arc. But. Yeah, that's that's some really horrible stuff. But thank you, Ryan George, for putting some levity on this, as you always do. Whew, let me know in the com <laughs> let me know in the comments what you thought about this. All right, uh, did you like Secret Invasion? If you did, I don't know where your brain is. You might want to go find it. <laughs> okay, but that is your opinion. If you did like, it. okay, it's your opinion. And if you like my reaction, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe. Mm -hmm. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date with everything I do right here on your Patreon. The goal by the end of the year going into next year is to get to 5,000 subscribers, okay? And when I get there, 
I'm doing a giveaway. And I know what I'm giving away, but I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm giving away yet. Okay, I'm only going to reveal it when it gets closer. It's some cool things in there. I actually came up. There's several things for the top winner. I'm going to do a uh, one tier, two tier, three tier. And uh, the, the person who gets the grand prize is some cool stuff in there. So that's all I'm going to say. So <laughs> come along for the ride. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. All right. See you in another video. Peace.